There are many different types of salads. We're mostly familiar with our vegetable salads, right? Our lettuce, tomato, cucumbers, things like that. But a pasta salad is a great salad to have in your cooking repertoire because pasta is in the grain family and whole grains are very good for us. Although today we're having a semolina wheat pasta, whole grain pastas are very good. They provide you with the whole grains that help to keep the body functioning naturally and, and moving um, things through. Pasta salads are also a great way to incorporate vegetables into your diet. You can also use meats and beans and nuts and things like that. So it's a very versatile salad. It's very easy to prepare. It can be prepared in advance. So it makes it a great dish to carry to a picnic or to a party. You can use it as an appetizer, a first course, or a main dish. It just depends on what you put in it, okay? And so today, this pasta salad is going to serve as your lunch. One of them is going to have chicken, the other is just going to have a, a variety of vegetables. The one with chicken will also have vegetables as well. If you are allergic to peanuts or peanut butter, you will not be able to eat one of these salads. I made a dressing this morning incorporating peanut butter, some brown sugar, rice wine vinegar, ginger, which is an herb that we produce on the farm, garlic, lime juice, soy sauce, sesame oil, tahini. It has a variety of things in there. But I wanted you to experience a pasta salad that had a different dressing other than ranch or Italian, okay? The other will have an Italian dressing, something that you may be more familiar with. And um, I used two different shapes of pasta today. One is called a fusilli pasta. I'm sure you've seen this, but on a smaller level. So this is kind of a fusilli fusion in that it's a larger pasta. And I thought that would be fun. Um, I have some dried on the table. I brought some bags. And you are welcome to take some home with you if you'd like, OK? This particular pasta here is called lumaconi. And um, that's an Italian word, but it's a different shape. And I may have overcooked it just a little bit, so it came out very large. But one thing about cooking pasta, have you ever heard the term al dente? Yes, OK. What does that mean? Yes. To the tooth. To the tooth. Excellent. Al dente means to the tooth, which means when you bite the pasta, you're, there should be a little resistance in it. We don't want to cook it until it's mushy. And we don't want to do that for a couple of reasons. When we overcook the pasta, it will lose its shape, okay? Sometimes become waterlogged and soggy. Another reason is when we cook our pasta al dente, it doesn't release all of the carbohydrates, so our bodies will store it differently, okay? The minute we overcook it, we begin to get into problems with carbohydrates and things like that, okay? So. The first salad that I'm going to mix for you is the fusilli salad. I've already told you what's in the dressing. And as you see, I have a ragu top on here. I tend to repurpose my jars, OK? So when you buy things in jars, don't just throw them away. Use them to make salad dressings, to store things in, to put your drinks in. A uh, lemon rosemary drink would look beautiful in here. It's just a way of using things and really getting your money's worth out of it, OK? So when I first took the pasta out of the water, I drained it. When you cook pasta, do not rinse it, okay? Because again, additional water when the pasta is warm will cause the pasta to be soaked with water. It tends to, when it's warm, absorb whatever you put on it. So if you're putting water, you're putting more water into your pasta, which is going to end up in your final dish. What you want to do is drain your pasta and then immediately put on a little olive oil or your salad dressing. And that way the pasta, while it's warm, will absorb those flavors. Parsley, if you're familiar with parsley, uh, what I'm going to do is pass some around so that you can smell it. Okay? So that's very good. Exposure to different things is very important. That way, when someone is talking about a different dish like or it's something like al dente, learn as much as you can. I'm going to add the dressing right here. 
And again, this is peanut butter, ginger, garlic, lime juice, a little crushed red pepper, brown sugar. And the last ingredient we're going to put in here is our chicken. What about nuts? Uh, we have peanut seeds that are going to go at the end. On the table behind you, there are some ingredients that I brought with me just to give you an idea of different things that can go into a pasta salad. I've got some sun-dried tomatoes over there, artichokes, uh, beans, olives. And some sesame seeds. It's also good to incorporate seeds, nuts, you know, when we're talking about grains and fiber and things like that, okay? So there we go. Yeah, please don't drop it. First, yellow tomatoes, red tomatoes, yellow, red, and orange peppers. And I think that's it. So I'm going to dump that in. Lots of color. Again, doesn't this look like a rainbow? Yeah. With all these colors. You know the thing about eating is we eat with our eyes first, right? So if something looks good, look at all the color in here. Again, a great way to incorporate a lot of color in one dish. What we're going to add with those vegetables is some feta cheese. Mm -hmm. That looks like popcorn. It looked like popcorn. And I tell you, something else would be good in here is cauliflower. How many of you are familiar with cauliflower? Okay. My yeah, mom made cauliflower like the time. Okay, great. Um, you can grate cauliflower on a grater and make it look like feta cheese, you know, and then incorporate that in your salad. Instead of cutting little pieces, which might be more difficult to chew, you can make rice out of cauliflower instead of eating white rice, you know, for the carbohydrates. Again, just grate it on the grater. You can do the same thing with broccoli. And then get yourself some brown rice and mix those things together. It's delicious and very nutritious. You're cutting back on carbohydrates. We're going to put some red onion in here for flavor. Okay. Oh, the one thing I forgot to do, we're going to squeeze a little more lime juice on that other salad. We're going to put the uh, dressing on for this one. Lime juice is good. And it is good. And it is good. Herbs that are used a lot in Italian cooking, so I thought it would be good in the pasta salad. So, here we go.